<laughs> listen, holiday household alert. You got to listen up to Chef Julian before you get hurt. Like we might trying to cut the vegetables harvested from the dirt. Yes, Welcome. Chef. Hey, thank you very much for having me. That's the biggest culprit, the onion. Yeah. Let's go on over there Come because as over. we're holiday entertaining, there's a lot of chopping going on. The key is the knives. Yes. Perfect, yeah. So right here, we've got a selection of knives. I'm going to say the top three knives that every home cook should have is your chef's knife, paring knife and serrated. So you've got most of your cuts coming from the chef's knife, um, small detailed cuts, and then bread, tomatoes, that kind of thing with your serrated. Okay. So first thing we got to do is show you how to hold a knife. So let me see, let me see how you hold a knife. <laughs> you Take trust a chance. Me, I trust you. See, I don't this know is why. what I would do. I would just like this. No? No, and that's fine. It's but okay. Let me show you something that's a little more ergonomic. Okay. We know that if we do something repetitively over and over and over again, if you're doing it wrong, you're going to feel it. Yes. Right? So hold your knife like so. Mm -hmm. Now we're actually going to choke up on the knife. Oh, so and you're going to pinch the blade with your thumb and index finger. Three fingers are wrapped tightly oh, around the handle. It's better. And now you can see, yeah, your wrist is proper motion. You got power, nice. control, and precision. Perfect. More control, all right. Let's make it happen, I'll take chef. That from oh, you okay. now. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Please do. Please do. Thank good you. Good idea. All right. So on the uh, board first. So what we've done here is we've taken one end completely off and just shaved the other end of the onion. We're going to keep that end intact down here. Now I showed you how to hold the knife like this. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to cut this way. Now it's hard to keep your knife steady at this we angle. We just backed yeah, yeah. up. We okay. just backed. And how, you're going to cry no matter what. Yeah. Right? How do you? How, you've already started slicing up some onions, and you haven't shed no one tear. tear. Well, chefs do pick up a certain immunity to crying oh, over onions. Man. But um, if you've got a properly sharp knife, it's a fresh onion. You okay. got lots of airflow, lots of uh, lots of circulation in the air. Then uh, you're less likely to cry. All right. Okay. Let's check it out. So we want to cut this way. I want to keep my knife steady. Okay. I'm going to put my finger on the back of the blade now and lock my wrist. Now, let's start cutting the onion. And you see, mm -hmm. back and forth, we're using the, the sharpness of that blade, mm -hmm. and I'm not going all the way to the back. And you're gripping it to like, just like the tips of your fingers. That's it. And top. fingers are up here, not yeah, in the way of the yes. onion, right? If you're doing something dangerous, there's probably a better way to do it. Absolutely. Right. OK? OK. It's, all right, so we didn't go all the way through the back. Now I'm going to change my hand to the original positioning, mm -hmm. and we're going to go across the onion, across the top. Again, not all the way to the back. And now I'm and just going to simply cross that yeah. cut, OK? And you'll notice I'm doing my very best not to hunch over the board. Oh, okay. right? So that's another point of ergonomics. You want straight back, feet Confidence shoulder width chef. apart. Confidence. Yeah, relax. Okay. And one quick trip for you is uh, actually flex one butt cheek at a time. Come on. Yeah, seriously. Hang not on, even seriously? cheeky on, with you. It's happening. So you want to flex happening. one butt cheek, Done. take the pressure off your lower back. When that gets tired, flex the other butt yeah. cheek. Okay. All right. I got it. And okay, you get chef. a nice definition right. too. Chef, when I've gone out, because I was raised on eating a lot of garlic with Indian food <laughs> and stuff like that, I've gone out. No one has ever said to me, hey, Devo, you know that garlic? That's sexy. Sexy. Well, no one's ever you. said that. How do you have sexy garlic? What so is So let's this? get sexy here for a minute. Now, <laughs> most people know this technique, mm -hmm. the mincing. Yeah. I think that's pretty classic. Um, however, if you're a garlic lover like me, like my wife, you want to see the garlic in the yep. dish. You want to like, you want to know that you're eating a lot of it, With right? These guys here. So yeah, there you so go. How are we doing these, that these cut. Guys. So we take our dry end off first, right? Mm -hmm. Now we've got the claw and we got the pinch. Claw Depending pinch. on how big what your chopping is, okay. we're doing the pinch, right? Mm -hmm. For this, middle knuckles in the front. Now watch, we're gonna be rocking the knife. Ah. It's like a boat riding Woo. the wave. Is it? And if you'll notice. It's very turbulent. The knife is just rubbing against those knuckles, and now we're slowly going to introduce the garlic oh, geez. to the knife. And trust your knuckle. Look, I'm not even looking. That's a, yeah. Don't. This is, making making nervous. Nervous. <laughs> okay, this is what your finished product is going to look like right here. Yep. So we just go up and in the pan. Amazing. And then Sauté. Just Chef, we're running good. out of we time. Can we time? show yes. one Let's more big this. one? And this is a, this scares us, right? Yeah. Because right. I'll do spending you... all the gourds over here. Yeah. So it's gorgeous. Not gorgeous yet, yeah. <laughs> not yet. So we got our butternut squash, mm -hmm. tough skin vegetables. First we thing, sharp here. knife, good grip on the knife, and the claw, good grip on whatever claw. you're cutting. Okay. Anything round, you don't Can want this to be floating yes. around here, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna top trim off, off top, bottom. bottom. All right. Cut it in half. Middle. And now it's sitting up on the flat sides. Now we look over the edge of the knife so we could see both sides of uh -huh. it. All right. Use the claw again to keep it steady. Use those knuckles oh, to guide your knife. Yeah. Whoa, 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 and whoa, 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 we're following down 
Ooh, there we go, Chef. Right. And keep going around and around until you've and shaved it off. Good. And you can see Chef's posture is great. And you mentioned the sharp <laughs> knife is so That's important. That's the key. Because you were saying if your knife's all, like, get it sharpened immediately. Dull knives make for way worse injuries. Yeah. There it is. Okay, we have so many more tips. How can people reach you? People can reach me at uh, thechefupstairs.com. We teach interactive cooking classes and host private cooking parties. Good That's stuff, it. Chef. Yeah. Right knives, right conditions, and your body in the right position will make sure that uh, you're not getting hurt and your meals are going to be great this holiday season. Thank you so much. Left. Thank you. To the right. Oh, you're clenching butt cheeks? All right. To the oh. right. Okay. Feel good yeah. about it. All right. We'll be right More back. ET after this weird. That's kind of nice. <laughs>